Very often when watching astronomy programs, you'll sometimes see a picture of a large galaxy put up, and then the announcer will say, this galaxy is, say, 25 million light years away. Or they'll say, the distance from Earth to the center of the Milky Way galaxy is around 27,000 light years. And one thing that you have to ask is, how did you possibly measure these distances? These distances are so much larger than anything that is on Earth. It, it is just kind of hard to understand how they measured that. And the truth is, accurately measuring the distances to stars and to distant galaxies is one of the most difficult things to do in astronomy. Now, for objects within the solar system, we can actually measure them uh, fairly accurately by using a technique called radar ranging. So let's say here's the Earth, and let's say we want to measure uh, the distance to Jupiter out here. Well, then I have a little uh, satellite dish. Let's see if I can draw this decently. I have a little radio dish, and I send out a radio signal, and that will go and collide with Jupiter and bounce off Jupiter and come back and return to my, uh, my radio dish. And I can time how long it takes the uh, radar pulse to make this, uh, make this trip. And if I know how long it took and I know that this radar pulse is moving at the speed of light, I can calculate the distance to, to Jupiter and to the other objects in the solar system. So if I'm inside the solar system, I can use radar ranging, radar ranging, to very accurately measure the distances to objects within the solar system. However, even for the most nearby stars, we can't use this radar ranging method to measure their distances because the distance to the nearest star is just too great. It would take years for the signal to return to us and the returning signal would just be too weak to actually, uh, to actually measure accurately. So we need to develop a different method in order to measure the distances to stars and to galaxies. And it turns out that there isn't any single method that can measure all the distances that we want, that can measure both nearby stars and distant galaxies. What we actually use is a succession of different types of methods to measure various distances. Some measurement techniques work for nearby stars, other measurement techniques work for uh, for nearby galaxies and then for distant galaxies. And it turns out that every time we measure a distance uh, to some set of objects, say the nearby stars, we can learn something about those stars that lets us measure to even more distant stars. So this uh, successive method of, uh, of measurement techniques is often referred to as the cosmic distance ladder. Cosmic distance ladder. And this is what we're going to talk about in this video series. We're going to start with the uh, techniques that work for the most nearby stars, and then we're going to see how we measure more distant stars and then distant galaxies. And again, each time we measure a set of distances, we'll learn something new that will help us uh, look farther into the night sky and measure farther and farther distances. So this is what we're going to be looking at in this coming video series.